boys and girls welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if this is your first time stopping by ignore the paint all over myself i painted my truck today i got a little bit dirty today we're gonna be talking about how to overclock your monitor i know it seems like i do a lot of overclocking videos and video ideas <laughs> comment down below what you guys want to see please today i'm going to be showing you guys how to overclock your monitors let's get right into it real quick it has come to my attention that only eight percent of you guys are subscribed to the channel that button down below my video is red go ahead and make it gray and click that bell to the right of it so you don't miss any future videos first things first this is going to be for the nvidia graphics cards only you can check to see if you have an nvidia graphics card by going to task manager performance and then it can say it right here or if you just have the nvidia suite in general such as like broadcast or if you go and search geforce experience that might come up or you could simply go and search device manager and then go to display adapters and it will tell you right here what your graphics card is since we do have an nvidia gpu we're going to go ahead and continue forward if you don't have an nvidia gpu stay tuned go ahead and subscribe and in a future video i'll show you how to do it for all graphics cards whether it be intel nvidia amd etc so now that you've determined that you have an nvidia gpu go ahead and right click on your desktop and click nvidia control panel or go down here in the bottom left and search for it then go to change resolution and click on customize uh you guys are gonna have to click on enable resolutions not exposed by the display and click on create custom resolution and it'll give you this warning you can go ahead and read over this if you'd like i'm not going to because i don't really care so you can technically make your monitor 1440p if you have a 1080p monitor such as myself i could make it 2560 by 1440 it makes everything really really small on the screen but makes it really blurry so I'm not going to do that what we're focusing on today is the refresh rate Hertz so my monitor is a 165 Hertz monitor if I go and put 165 click on test duplicate resolution it's already running because it's still 165 hertz monitor a lot of you guys if you're going to be on 60 hertz monitors you can actually put in 61 62 63 64 65 etc go start at 70 put 70 in see if 70 works if 70 doesn't work keep going down until 70 works it will revert after 15 seconds once you find a good resolution like let's say it starts working at 66 go ahead leave it on 66 but for me i can go to 166 test as you can see here, it's going to revert in 17, 16, 15, 14 seconds. So don't be afraid if your monitor goes black and does not come back on, it will revert after 20 seconds, 15, 20 seconds. Keep going up until your monitor goes black. My monitor just won't go black and it will just start stuttering. So I'm not going to keep going. Like if you're on 60, if you're on a 60 Hertz monitor, for example, go 61, test it, go 62, test it. If you get past the 63 mark, try 70. If 70 doesn't work, go 69, 68. 67 and keep going down until your monitor comes back on and you can actually use your monitor if you can get 70 go ahead and keep going up 71 72 73 74 75 76 77 for my second monitor i'm not doing this on my second monitor but if i was it would cap out at 77 it would go black and then it would revert after 20 seconds back to 76 which would mean that that is my highest safe overclock for the monitor so i'd go ahead and put in 76 hertz and test it Click on yes, since that is a safe resolution. And then you'll see your custom resolution right here, 1920 by 1080 at 76 Hertz progressive. Click on okay, and then you will see it up here in the custom section, and then you can go ahead and apply it here. And boom, just like that, you made your 60 Hertz monitor 76 Hertz. Yeah, you gained 316 Hertz, which is more than 25% of 60. So that's nice, good for you. Hope you guys found this video useful. A uh, shorter video, a lot of my videos have been shorter recently, but if you notice a lot of my videos are shorter recently, that's because I kind of stopped trying to make them eight minutes. Eight minutes is where you can put ads on videos uh, i can still put ads on the video but i can't control where they are with the shorter videos i just get the point across and show you guys how to do it yeah don't take up much more of your time than i need to so yep pretty much it if you have any questions comments concerns you have any problems go ahead and comment them down below and if you find the video worth watching to this point go ahead and leave a like on the video and if you want more videos like this or maybe you want a video on how to do it for amd or an intel graphics card or on your laptop display or whatever go ahead and comment down below and subscribe to the channel and i'll be sure to do that for you guys but yeah that's pretty much it and i will see you guys in the next one